Okay guys, today I'm working on a massive video showing some robotic stuff and a student who's learning Grasshopper asked how to do a simple parametric facade. And I thought, oh, that's a fun little experiment. I haven't done vanilla Grasshopper in quite a while, sort of focusing on the, uh, the robotic side at the moment. And I thought, well, that's only a couple minutes work. If that, and I thought, yeah, I will recreate it here. Why? I don't know. I don't know. What have you ever done for me? Anything? Have you smashed like on this video? Subscribed? Checked out my Instagram? Where you can see what we're up to at Creative Robotics here in Austria. Or you just want to get my content. Okay. So, constructed a point and just moved it in a series in the Z direction, imagining that this is a building facade going down X positive. Pretty basic so far, nothing special. Now, Let's just move another one. We're going to move this in X. So if we imagine this is at the extremities of our wall, let's say, I don't know, 30, 30 meter long wall. Oh, wrong geometry. Cool. Okay. So here's our building blocks. What do we want to do now? We want to move all our points. So another move component. Not the fanciest script. This is definitely what I'd consider a beginner script. I'm going to move them in the Y direction. And let's put down a random number generator just to make it a little parametric. And what do we want? How are you doing today? Have you done some grasshopper? Talking and grasshopper is not my forte when I'm doing a script live, apparently. So, 200, 1200. How many numbers? Let's grab a list length component. Have the length of this, our first and second list of points. Let's try and keep this somewhat on screen, so guys can see what I'm doing I'm saying the amount of points we have is how many we want and the seed some random number we might come back to later okay so we've got some random numbers being generated now we need to Split our list, and we're going to take our list length, and we know that whatever our list length is, we're just going to x divided by two divided by two. If we change any of our parameters earlier down in our program, nothing's going to break. And I can never remember which one I like to use, so do it the dumb way. Come up to spline. Interpolate will do. We're going to need two of these for both edges sides of our building. Nice. Now we're just going to loft these together. That gives us our surface. Winner, winner. Contour. Now we need a starting point, which will be our original constructed point because we're doing everything in Grasshopper today because that's what keeps me having a little bit of fun. You could, of course, generate that surface on anything. It could be some rhino geometry or whatever you want to do. Look, I'm not the boss of you. I just do these videos for a hobby. That's yeah, that's enough. 
you guys I recommend you guys if you're learning grasshopper we need a plane to project these two so XZ plane we'll use now this isn't this isn't necessary but it's a good sort of work practice if this changes and you want to you know you've got data coming through and this changes then you'll make sure that this is always updating with your script it's just good to get into the habit so we're going to project onto a plane take our curves this is the plane so we can already see where we're going with this All that don't need to see everything because we know what we're doing we're going to loft our new curves our old curves it gives us our sort of our blades of our facade and finally nothing is zero in depth so long on x again let's say 50 millimeter thick blades or whatever you want again cool it's a super quick super introductory tutorial on doing just a fancy well, not even fancy just a quick parametric like I said you probably want to think about this end this won't change too much just how you generate your points where you get your points from if you don't like your random scene the great thing about grasshopper is you can just update or you could be if you thought about this a bit more architecturally and started thinking computationally you could have some output that is reading the sun measurement or you know what it's letting in give it some value and then update this with Galapagos and have an evolutionary solver to make a parametric facade that's solving a problem but hey this was what I'm doing while I wait for a video to render for my next robot video which I'm incredibly overdue with thanks to Corona. All right guys, whatever. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, maybe think about buying me a coffee on Patreon, but otherwise enjoy your studies and happy parametric designing or whatever.